Explain what you're thinking right now on when. Sure. So I think clearly these um, sexual harassment allegations have created a major overhang for the stock. And these are very serious allegations to be sure. But if you look at the stock, um, the main exposure from, for wind resorts actually comes from Macau. That's where they get in 70% of their you know, operating cash flow. And as long as this doesn't spread to a potential inquiry by the top regulator over there, we're at least comfortable that this could blow over. How critical is Steve Wynn to that operation? If the board, because the board is talking about an investigation now, if the board were to replace Steve Wynn, what would that do to the stock? Oh, that would be, um, I'd, I'd say, disastrous. You know, clearly, I think the company itself, to parts, parse its own words, they've said that Steve Wynn's uh, aesthetic vision and his skills and um, you know uh, his skills and efforts are very integral components to its success, uh, and the loss of Steve Wynn. Um, could actually impair significantly the company's competitive position. By the way, that's the number one risk factor uh, that the company has identified, and we knew this going into mm -hmm. uh, the stock, and that's really why I think a lot of investors are concerned that the potential fallout could be very damaging based on Steve's vision and driving force behind all of the projects that they're pursuing right now, both domestically and internationally. But something that we've seen that we haven't seen in, say, other companies where these allegations have come out is that it's really going up to the board. Where was board uh, governance and shaking things up there as well. What's your expectation? That's right, Alex. We've taken a very close look at uh, Wind Resorts board. And I think it's very less than ideal kind of uh, you know situation where you've got a minority shareholder in Steve Wynn uh, who is actually having undue influence and in terms of the board composition they've got 10 members in the board uh, four of those members are designated as uh, independent directors uh, there's only one woman on the board uh, Steve himself has uh, you know just uh, uh, reappointed the lead uh, independent director uh, you know Robert Miller who ironically is charged with leading this uh, investigation that the board has just launched. So there is a lot of concerns as to you know whether you're going to get a really um, independent quote unquote uh, review from the board. However, having said that, I think we're comfortable at this point uh, that the company, the potential consequences of Steve leaving the company could uh, ultimately lead to a situation where he could at least um, survive this.